my name is Peter Rogers and I'm chairman of the Ventilation Group Technical Committee and we have produced a document for ductwork air leakage testing for non-domestic buildings which is DW143. Now generally um, with regard to leakage, air leakage testing the responsibilities for ensuring the achievement of a satisfactory system is divided between the ductwork contractor, production, and the on site installation team. It is essential that there is full cooperation between them. You need to establish with the system designer, the client, or the representative the class of ductwork called for in the project specification. And you need to know that leakage testing is always done under a positive pressure, even when the ductwork is operating under negative pressure. The ductwork contractor must ensure that all components have been manufactured and sealed in accordance with the design specification. You must agree with the system designer test pressure for each section of the installation and decide which is the best way to isolate the installation into test zones. You need to make sure that test points and blanking devices can be reached with minimum difficulty and they must prepare test sheets giving information required for each test being carried out. The production team must manufacture the components with a good fit to minimize the use of any sealant. A poor fit cannot be remedied on site by the use of additional sealant. So it's important to get the manufacturing of the components correct. All longitudinal seam joints must be sealed and special care must be taken when fitting access doors and panels because these are very prone to leakage. The ductwork must be handled and delivered with care to avoid any danger of breaking the seals during transportation. The on-site installation team, before installation, must inspect all duct sections and make sure that factory applied seals have not been damaged during transit or delivery. Fixing of blanking plates or other temporary seals in the position shown on the ductwork by the ductwork contractor must be installed. They also need to agree with the client a progressive testing program. Ideally, they should carry out a preliminary test to look for any obvious places where there may be leakage. There may possibly be an access door missing, of course, or a, a duct joint completely broken, and obviously you're never going to get a test if this is the case. You need to offer the test section to the client for formal acceptance and signature on the test certificate. Classification of air leakage and test procedures. Air, leak, air leakage testing of low and medium pressure is not mandatory under the DESA DW144 specification for sheet metal ductwork. Air leakage testing for high pressure ductwork is mandatory under the VISA DW144 specification. The ductwork classifications and air leakage limits. We have class A, a positive pressure is 500 pascals, negative pressure 500 pascals, medium pressure, pressure class B, 1000 pas pascals, positive pressure 750 for negative pressure, high pressure class C, 2000 pascals, 750 negative, and high pressure class D, 2000 pascals, also at 750, but obviously with a, a lower leakage rate. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the air leakage testing procedure, you need to determine the extent of the ductwork to be tested 
and the method selected. Fit the blanking devices in accordance with the system test zones. The section of ductwork area to be tested shall have a large enough area to enable the test rig to measure a measure, sorry, to test a measurable leakage. A small amount of ductwork tested sometimes is not large enough for the um, for the test machine. You need to follow the recommendations of the manufacturer of the test equipment and ensure that it has a calibration certificate with the test machine. Due notice of test shall be given so that arrangements for witnessing can be made. And obviously, as noted from um, one of the questions earlier, testing must be complete before any insulation or enclosure of the ductwork. Otherwise, of course, you can't get back to rectify any fault. Uh, here's a typical uh, layout of um, a ductwork system which is tested. Um, so hints on leakage, you can see that we have the test machine on the floor there connected to a spigot onto the ductwork. The ductwork has been blanked at each end of the run and also on the duct spigots, as you can see also. Um, on this particular occasion, the attenuator, the silencer with the zigzags has actually been included in this particular test. So the sequence of the test would be to prepare the test sheet, connect and adjust the test rig to the correct pressure that, you've, that the specification is calling for, read off the leakage rate, reseal the ductwork if necessary and uh, allow time for the sealant to cure, to, to go hard, um, which is normally about 15 minutes, and then retest and, until you get the right pressure. Record the details onto the test sheet and obtain the signature from the witness. So how do we find the leaks? Uh, obviously the first thing you would do is just to, to physically look to see, make sure there's no blanks or access doors missing from the system. Um, sometimes you can hear the air running out of a joint, so you can actually hear the leak coming out, and sometimes you can actually feel it with your hand. And if it's still very difficult to find it, perhaps on a high-pressure leak system, you may need to use a bit of soap and water to get some bubbles to show you where the air is leaking. There, there are occasions when uh, maybe a smoke pellet can be used, but obviously you need to make sure that this is cleared with the client beforehand in case any fire alarms or smoke detectors would be set off. An example of a, a completed test sheet. Um, obviously, you would need to name the project, the type of system you have, the test pressure, the building number, the floor, the drawing number that it applies to the machine that you're using, its, um, its type, and also its calibration certificate number. This is quite important. You then list out the items of ductwork and any plant items which are included in this particular test. Show the calculations for the square meter area of the ductwork. And on this case, you can see that it's 80 square meters. Further down, you, you then can see the leakage factor for this particular range of ductwork, which is class C, 1500 pascals. Um, so your allowance for leakage is 28 liters per second per meter squared. And then you can actually record the actual leakage that you have recorded, which is 18, and the duration of the test, 15 minutes, and the result of the test, which is a pass in this case. And it's been signed off by the client or the witness. Building regulations in the UK, the ADL2A for new buildings and the ADL2B for existing buildings, both state that leakage testing should be carried out in accordance with procedures set out in the BESA DW144 document, which is for sheet metal ductwork. And this DW144 refers to 
DW143, the specification for sheet metal ductwork. Random testing, if the system designer considers that he would like the system to be tested under a medium pressure class uh, and it's unavoidable, then it's recommended that random tests are identified. Uh, this enables the client to choose a section of ductwork that he would like to test. And normally, if that test, for example, should fail, he would be within his rights to ask for the whole of the system to be tested. So it's important that the manufacturer and installation team are very much aware that uh, the system must be sealed because uh, if you have to go back and retest and reseal the ductwork system, it obviously takes an awful lot of time and money. System leakage loss, it is generally accepted that a good quality system, the leakage from each class of ductwork under operating conditions would be in the region of 6% for class A, low pressure ductwork, 3% leakage for class B, medium pressure, class C, high pressure, 2% leakage, and the best of the ductwork systems, class D, high pressure, 0.5% leakage. Items of inline plant would not normally be included in an air leakage test. Um, uh, the ductwork contractor may include such items in the test if that particular plant item has a manufacturer's certificate of conformity for the pressure classification for the system under test. Uh, this is probably quite unusual, but the fire damper or volume control damper may not have this classification of test, so it would often be excluded from the ductwork testing. At the back of uh, DW143, we have uh, air leakage rates, which just shows you, for example, that the pressure of uh, 500 pascals, class A is uh, a maximum of 1.53 liters per second per meter squared of surface area. And on the test that we actually chose earlier, which is uh, 1,500 pascals, class C is 0 0.35. Uh, litres per second per square metres of surface area. We've put these figures into a graph form just to show you the differences between the, the high and low pressure classifications. And you can see from the graph there that the high pressure class D is a very good, constructed, well sealed ductwork system. It needs to be. That's the end of my short presentation. As you can see, there are a number of other publications which might help you with, uh, with uh, ductwork. Thank you all very much and look forward to receiving any questions.